What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. Beats and beats. And gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Shots. <clears throat> Rob, how we doing out there? Oh, we are doing fucking amazing today. Today is What's magic going day. What's going on today, sir? Uh, today I wake up in Texas and go to sleep in California. That's what's up. So we're going to be fucking some shit up for uh, the next two weeks. I don't know how much we're going to document, but, you know. <laughs> well, I say we document it all. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Not all that's awesome, it. man. Most Can't wait for you to get in town. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Josh, how we doing, buddy? <clears throat> uh, doing all right, other than they're doing some paving street work in my neighborhood, so you can't go down my fucking street. Oh, so man. you got to park <laughs> like two blocks away and then walk. So other than that bullshit, it's going pretty good. Uh, rehearsals are going good. Excited for the shows coming up. So Rob mentioned yeah. he's coming to town finally. We haven't seen this dude since January, so it's been a minute. <laughs> February, February, February. Yeah, yeah but we're good. Okay. Yeah, it's been. It, a feels, bit. it yeah. feels like January, dude. So <laughs> right. you know what I mean. What about you, Danny? How you doing, buddy? Good. I I want to just say something real fast. Um, I just noticed Rob's name on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody else sees yeah, so, us, but it is so, hilarious. Do you want to explain this? Uh, well, so we have in the session here we're doing, we have a name on everybody's like window that we see. And so um, every single week, I think Rob changes it. And today it says Dick, Dick B. Dragon. <laughs> like first name Dick, middle initial B, and then the last name Dragon, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And so in the middle of Mark saying that, I'm sitting here, I look at him like, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, good man. Rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. You know, um, getting ready for Rob coming out because we're going to be tracking a whole bunch of vocals and different stuff, and uh, then on top of that, more rehearsal and some shows. And so, getting ready. Hell yeah! Excited. You know? Photo shoots, video shoots, new podcast stuff, yeah, bonus Diddy material, Diddy parties. Diddy no, parties. No, 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 Diddy parties. No, no Diddy parties. That's an East Coast thing. Not that. Oh. oh man. Well, I myself am running on about two hours of sleep because uh, I had a few coworkers that wanted to go out last night to a casino. So, uh, which one? Uh, the one right here. The what is it? Yama Yama Va Yam whatever it is. Yama. What did you say about my mama? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, mama. It used to, the one that used to be Pachanga. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that one right there. It was cool. It was really Wait, funny. My Chanda buddy or Sam Manuel. Sam Manuel, sorry. The one that used to be uh, oh. Sam Manuel. Yeah. But uh no <laughs> my buddy so he turned twenty one and everybody else had been to a casino before he never had. And he sat down and he puts a hundred bucks in a machine and we're watching him play and we realized like four clicks later he was hitting max bet. On the on the on the slot machine, he blew through a hundred bucks in about two and a half minutes, dude. And we were just dying laughing. We were like, "Oh no, dude, you gotta gotta lower your bet, buddy." He's like, "Oh, I didn't know." <laughs> uh, go play, go play on the penny slot. Yeah, like yeah. So before we get uh drop into this episode, guys, November fifth, check this out. Our hey, you learned drops. how to glit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> our album drops November 5th, and we just got our physical copies. If you do end up coming to the shows next week, um, you'll be able to purchase them before release date. So that's pretty dope. Nice. We're going to have those, and we're going to have these awesome posters that were made. <clears throat> you guys see those? Okay. But yeah. yeah that's good. Amazing. Um, who did that? I'm real, <clears throat> right? Hey, by the way, awesome, dude, because I didn't even know that those were made. <laughs> I didn't even know that those were made. Yeah, Jamie killed it. <laughs> yeah, she did. 
Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. I love the way. My favorite part about the design is that it looks ripped down here, and there's space here for us to sign it for people. That's dope. Yeah. And and if you look at the top of the poster, uh, there's enough room to draw a dick on everyone's head. <laughs> John Dixon, all of our heads are here. Hey, hey you're only gonna draw you're only gonna draw a dick on my head, okay? That's it. Well we'll see. We'll see. But like it's but yeah. it's half a face, so your other half is your dick. <laughs> I, I will be drawn in the rest of the pictures for people who buy a poster. Uh, I actually yeah. want. I actually want to see this. I want to see this happen. I'm yeah. so sorry, babe. I'm sorry when you watch this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it helps uh, to have a wife who does graphic design and stuff too. So it helped out. She actually helped out with the album artwork as well. So being able to do all of that stuff in house for us, make sure that we have the final say with a lot of stuff, and we all collaborate together on what it should look like. And at the end of the day, we're the final person who touches it, so to speak. So that helps out with the way the final product comes out. So thank you yeah. very much, babe. Yeah. Yeah, man. She killed it. Awesome job. <clears throat> I know that uh, there's a lot of collaboration there, like you said, between everybody. And uh, it's amazing how much we've got accomplished for being that Rob's in another state, you know, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and, we're, and we're all still on the same page when it comes to what we're doing there. So... I love it. I think it's cool. Danny, uh, the, the scrims came in for the show. Those look amazing. They are, dude, they are so easily to, to pop up. Awesome, dude. They look like, uh, you remember, what did you say? I look like when I was walking with the case, like a pool shark. Cause they're, they're like, it's like a thing like this. Yeah. It looks like a pool cue stick holder. Looks like, yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. they look like. And you just unzip it and boom, sew it up and they're piece it's, of cake. It's really, literally, literally like, like a, it's like a 10 second process, dude, to, to, to pop those things up and down, which is fucking awesome. So, oh, yeah. 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 Um, one last thing, Mike Z, thank you so much, 96.7, for playing Save Yourself this past weekend. As always, huge supporter of the band. Uh, we can't thank you enough. And, one, yeah, man, just fucking thanks for being a cool dude, Mike. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Rob, what are we getting into today, sir? <clears throat> Uh, I think we uh, are headed in a direction, and that direction is one direction. Oh, um, my God, dude. <laughs> and that direction is down. Um, oh, man. It's not Mark's cup of tea. They're British. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, uh, I, if you know anything about One Direction, uh, they're a boy band band. So okay. they're... They're the original Last Days of War. Um, That's what's up. <laughs> no, uh, basically they're they're a boy band, uh, pop band, I guess you would say, um, where they all sing and perform and and uh, you know have many inspirations in the pop field. Like Five Seconds of Summer was spawned off by like their kind of mentality and everything. Anyways. Uh, Liam Payne, one of the uh, members of One Direction, uh, apparently fell to his death. Um, but they just released the toxicology report, and this guy had everything um, in his system. Uh, apparently, it's another like Taylor Hawkins type situation where you're just like everything known to man was in this kid. What what do you think caused him to lead to this decision? And with everything that's in that, I'm I'm surprised he was even cognizant of where he was at at that point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys if you guys saw or heard the video of the police, the phone call when the hotel called the police, but. They were apparently like maybe like a couple of hours before he died. He um, was like trashing the place and going back and forth to the desk and like, you know, just causing a scene. So they were trying to get him to go back to his room. And apparently one of the last things he told somebody was he saw like a fan in the hallway or something and told her, I'm fucked up because I used to be in a boy band. Like is, is what is, was like one of his last things that he said. Oh, wow. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Which is kind of which is kind of sad, dude. Because you know you hear all these these crazy stories about these childhood actors and these childhood stars and stuff like that, and a lot of them, the majority of them, just spiral out of control. You know. Um, uh, it's crazy. I wasn't even a childhood actor, and uh, I somehow did the same thing. Um, I find myself saying the same damn thing too. Uh, I'm fucked up, and I was in a boy band. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Yeah, you know, uh, like I, I feel like we've we've all kind of been at the bottom, the low lows. You know what I'm saying? Like, but to have that many chemicals in your system, your head is done. Like, I, I don't care who you are. Like, this isn't this isn't like your 36 beer challenge. Like, this is like. Hey, we're going to multiply. I've done that, by the way. <laughs> the Fucking, I'm challenge. glad you're still with us, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Holy hell. Oh, Wait, man. Hey, I'll do it again. I, I'll do it again. <laughs> what? what? Is the final exit or what? Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Might be. I don't know at this point. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. It depends on how them Dodgers do, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, thank you. Got to represent. Got to represent. Dude, I I literally just realized you're wearing a Dodger sweater. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Bro, you. bro, I, I I as a Dodger fan, just hear me out. We're gonna sidetrack real quick. As a Dodger fan, we've been waiting for this since the COVID shut down and we won the World Series and everyone's like, that was a short season, doesn't count. And you're like, fuck off. Like, you gave it to the Astros who fucking cheated their way through there. Eat a dick. And fuck the trash bros. Did you um, see the comment about Shohei, the new one, that he came up on a quarter million dollar bonus and it wasn't because of a Dodger thing? Because he bet the year before through DraftKings that he would make the World Series with the Dodgers. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. For real? That's, that's crazy. his interpreter's bail money. Pretty right? much, yeah, that's the joke. Fuck yeah. I, I don't that's think crazy. it's a joke, though. <laughs> his interpreter's bail money? You need to fill me in on this. What's going on there? <laughs> Uh, the old okay. attorney who got uh, investigated for supposedly taking Shohei's money and illegally betting. And oh, shit. Using... Yeah, so Shohei Otani is a Japanese. He's, uh, he's from Jap Japan, and he used yeah, to play. Yeah, I, I, know, I, know I know who he is, yeah. Right. So he had an interpreter, and the interpreter that he had through his span was when he was on the Angels into the Dodgers. They were good friends and stuff. And I don't know how much money it was, but it was like several millions of dollars. Yeah, it was a lot. And so there was a whole lot of like, was this Shohei that was doing this and he was using his interpreter or is his interpreter really still in money? And then the baseball commission came out and said that this is what they found. And I think the guy was arrested and all of that. So yeah. I know he has a new interpreter now and hopefully yeah. he's not, you know, skimming money from him. So I am a very, very very casual baseball watcher but so like i don't know all like the ins and outs of it so that's the dodgers and the yankees correct that are going to be in the world series okay yeah mm -hmm. um, so i feel like a lot of times when it comes down to like these championship games there's always a clear winner like you, you like people are always like oh yeah that team's gonna wash the other team is it like that with this yeah. Like everybody. Yep. Uh huh. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be easy because I mean, for the Dodgers, because the Yankees have. I mean, they're in the World Series. There's a reason why there's there. They're there. Yeah. Right? Clear, yeah. And clearly. Yeah. <laughs> they have a. They, you know, they have a lot of power on that team, but that's not to say that the Dodgers don't. Okay. So like. Like I said, I think the Dodgers are going to take it. I don't think it's going to be a sweep. I don't think there's going to be like – I think it's going to come down to like a game six or seven, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bro, we got a fucking ninja on our team. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy this guy steals bases as much as he hits home run. 
Like, <laughs> yeah. Jaker Hernandez, bro. That guy's on fire, dude. I mean, yeah. bomb. Pretty he's just killing it. They made like the, the World the, Series. The, the, the whole game. team. The whole team. Mookie Betts has been killing it, you know? All of them. I'm hoping I'm hoping that in this uh this week here that uh Freddie Freeman gets his ankle healed up more because he's been he's been playing on a like I think he twisted it. He had like a high ankle sprain, so he's been playing on it and I think this week is gonna be hopefully he can heal up as much as he can, you know. Nice. It's and when does the when does the series actually... start? Friday. 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 Nice. Uh but hear me out. There's a player uh, it's funny because regardless of who wins, he gets a ring already. Uh, What's up? I forget, I forget this player's name, uh, but he spent the beginning of the season, the first five days in the Dodger camp, and ends up getting traded to the Yankees. <laughs> so if he loses, no matter loses what, or wins, it doesn't matter. He already gets, he already gets a ring. Hold up, part hold up. So, so if you're you're in a team that and you get traded, but your contract started with that team, you get a ring. Any participation I not, you I had. I did not know that that was a thing. That's crazy. Yeah. That's well, I mean, think of, think of it like schools. Like, think of it like schools. Like, if you went to one school and then you transferred over to another school, you could technically go to both high school reunions. Well, like, uh, okay. you move to another state, you're going to have to file state taxes in both states, you know? Yeah. So, like but I said, it's, I don't even know. Later. I know when the Angels won the World Series in, like, I don't know, what was that, 2000, somewhere 2000, 2005? There was yeah. a, a guy that I knew that I worked with, and he was a security dude at one of the venues I worked at. And, and he had an Angels ring. And, of course, he had to purchase the ring, but he was able, even if you work – for the team, they offer the ring as well, but I believe it's a different ring. I don't think it's exactly the same. I think you have to pay for it. Hmm. But this dude had this badass Angels World Series ring, and it was like, he's like, he, he legit was like, I worked for the team and I got it. He's like, hell yeah, that's dude. dope. Uh, nice. Yeah, and it and it works like that in football as well. Like if uh, like I'm not, if, I'm not 100. I know baseball it does, and I believe it okay. does in hockey. I'm not. I don't sure. know if you get a. Uh, I don't know if you get a ring in, in football. I don't know that one. That's just that's a that's crazy, dude. That's I didn't know that that was a thing. So that's cool that if that guy, whether he wins or loses, he gets a ring. <laughs> yeah, gets a ring. It really doesn't oh, like, matter. He's going to win and get a ring regardless. Yeah. So it, you would hope it would be on the team you played with that wins, not just hey, well, fuck the rest of you guys. Well, yeah, if he was mind. with the Yankees the whole year, you would rather your ring be with the team that you participate in the most. I would, you know. Yeah, that next that next practice, if they lose, is going to be awkward when he walks in with a big ass ring. What's up, guys? <laughs> the rest of the team's looking at his Dodger World Series championship ring. Walking in with the in fucking there. Dodgers jersey. Oh, in man. the Good. locker room. Good. That's hilarious, I'll, man. I'll mail it in the last days of war. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I can be that ass. Did you want to circle back to the One Direction thing, or do you want to talk about We Were Young Fest? Well, so let's the One going... Direction thing. Let's t let's say it like this: Don't jump or fall out any windows, or do yeah. um, drugs, pink cocaine, whatever it's called. Well, yeah. hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hold on. He's like, don't give drugs a bad name. He's like, he's like, don't, don't, give, wait, wait. He's like, don't give drugs a bad name. Hold on. Let's talk about <laughs> like, this. <laughs> Like every, every, you know, beer manufacturer says drink responsibly. I say party responsibly. Like pick one, yeah. maybe two drugs that you're going to party with. That's, <laughs> maybe that's two math. drugs. But even, even, even that, even just two is, is. All right. I mean, hear me out. Rob, Rob, pick your two. Pick your two drugs. Go. Weed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Caffeine. Caffeine. That's a that's a that's a cheat code right there, bro. That's a cheat code. <laughs> I'm just saying, like it. You have to count it. Okay. It's like I could do without milk. 
right? <laughs> no, nobody needs more milk. I mean, good strong bones. Do you all, do, but, but do you do uh, do you like cream in your coffee though? No, fuck no. Black is my soul. He creams in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> no coffee. No coffee. Uh, no, but like I, even like you know sodas or you know tea. I, I could go to town on a pitcher of tea. For sure. Um, right. The drug like, of choice, iced tea. Iced tea and weed. Be careful, kids. Well, like my, my, my Mount rug. Rushmore. My Mount Rushmore is caffeine, nicotine, caf- uh, weed, and alcohol. I can get on board with that. I mean, I'm drinking a monster right now, you know? I smoked a lot of weed yesterday, so... Yeah. That counts for something. <laughs> <laughs> drugs. To, to drugs. <laughs> I don't know how much we can air of this part. I, but, I was know. just thinking <laughs> that, dude. I was like, dude, <laughs> dude, so dude, 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 Due to legal reasons, I am not going to answer this question. <laughs> and, and you know what's funny you say that, Danny, is I literally think that that's what went through Rob's head. He was like, oh. He's like, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. No, no. But, no. I, I don't know how far you've ever gone down that line, but there's there's this thing that always happens to me, and it's never gone away. Is you say a certain name of a drug, and I get this like tingle that just goes, oh. <laughs> that's literally what he looked like what he did he was like ah oh, drugs you know <laughs> the, memory. the memory yeah oh. oh that's hilarious man so uh Stay we were young you. we were young fist just happened this past weekend <laughs> right. danny. Oh, hey danny just got we- it <laughs> just gumming it, <laughs> dude. All the time. That's what you're just like. Oh man! Yeah. Right there. Look at Rob. That's what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> you're just like. Uh, I is the uh, just under you good? The yeah, right I just here. had a peanut butter cup. <laughs> what the fuck you did? Here, <laughs> give me one. <laughs> yep. Uh, Drugs. That post nasal oh, drip is a bitch, you know. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we all made that face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna change this subject before we incriminate ourselves anymore. Here we go. Uh, festivals. Uh, festivals. We were young uh, when we were young. Fest just passed this weekend. Uh, Danny, something very interesting happened there. What happened over there, buddy? Yeah, I saw that they cut some, cut, some bands got cut short. I know the used did for sure. Uh, yeah. And- <laughs> He didn't appear to be too happy about it. I think he tossed his mic out into the crowd and, yeah, you know, like it was, so what, it was one of those like, man, you're sitting here singing your song and then all of a sudden you're singing it and you're, you're hearing it in your in-ears and then the crowd is doing something different. You're kind of going like, why are they yelling and screaming? And it's like, you realize like, oh shit, we've been cut, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so the message of this story is fucking in. You know? Yeah. But so the the interesting, if you see the, if you watch the video, what's crazy about the way they cut them was that they cut them during the chorus. So it looked like it was intentional at first, like to hear the crowd sing with them. Yeah. But and then it just never came back on, and he's still singing. You can see that they all, you can see that they all have their in ears, so they they're not aware that they've been cut off. And then like you can kind of hear the confusion in the crowd, which confused him. And then once he realized it, he just grabs his mic and just chucked it into the fucking audience and walked away. <laughs> he was just like, fuck this, dude. Yeah. He just beelines it at one specific fan. Just, no, fuck. Think. Roddy Rex. So the user's <laughs> getting sued. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, a somebody, fan that's complaining about said, this grill seen... tattoo on the forehead. <laughs> would you consider that though the downside of the whole band being on in ears because you can't hear the monitor system technically you have to look at the aspect of fuck we really have no idea we lost sound yeah. you know what I've never even I never even really thought of that on stage you're not going to really notice it when you got in ears I mean yeah the low end some of the low end might drop out <clears throat> You know, I think you're definitely going to notice that, but you're still going to be sitting there going like, what the hell's going on? You know? Yeah. 
yeah. especially when the crowds they're going like ah what the fuck you know you're like yeah but that's like wearing like super loud headphones while you're driving you know like you still need to be aware of your surroundings and listen for sirens or you know well this is why you throw in audience mics and then you can well, hear the audience. Not, not only that but like <laughs> Maybe you rock one in here. So you can still hear what the fuck's going on around you. Like, always be prepared. Like, that, for me, uh, at least for me, like, I like to be aware of my surroundings. So if someone needs to run up and tell me something, I don't have to be like, huh? What? Okay. And then, wait, hang on. Hang. Yeah, just, yeah, let's start learning sign language. Like, <laughs> On no, stage, a, but sometimes you're doing sign language, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you uh, yeah. ask the drummer to open up the hi-hat. And, you know? I, I, I've, had, I've had guys do the motion, kick, 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 give me kick, you know? Like, oh, like, I, I know kick. what this means, but what kick. the fuck yeah. is this? Well, yeah, sometimes you're sitting there like, what is this person squawking at me? You're like, I don't know. And then they go like, snare. And you're like, oh, snare. Like okay. every, time I, every time I think of that night, dude, I, I always – remember that I could see the confusion through the mask that Josh was wearing. Like he, I could, I could see the confusion still that? through the mask. <laughs> you could see he's the like, mask what? like people are Yeah, he's like, what? <laughs> like, you could, cause the thought cloud, even the confusion bubble popped up above Josh's head and I was like, fuck. <laughs> That's exactly what it felt like, bro. Like, wait, what is this dude actually trying to tell me? Um, I can't focus on this. Oh, fuck, we started. Go, go. <laughs> he just starts going. Hey, did you see how big the crowd was at that concert? Yeah. It was, pretty, it was like 65,000. It was pretty big. Uh, at ours? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right, believe we flubbed that in front of 65,000 people. It was crazy. <laughs> but, you know, we worked through it. We worked through it. We stay humble. So there were yeah. there was a bunch of people talking about it on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there was a few people that were like, "Oh, they they cut the used and this and that." And then another band member from I want to say it was I don't remember what band it was. Sorry, but there was another band that played last year that was like, "Yeah, it's um, it's almost like when we were told, hey, we want you guys to play this album." Uh, from beginning to end, and then they found out the album was too long, so they made them change their set like a day before or something like that. And so, and I wasn't aware of venues or, or not venues, but I wasn't aware of these festivals being able to be in charge of what it is you're playing there. Is that is that? A thing? Depending on what you sign on to, yes, you have to pay attention to the writer because it can be in the contract that they have a say over how long your set is, how offensive your songs can be, the message behind your songs. Like, you could sign some shit and not pay attention to it, so you got to be careful the bigger the show because if you ain't paying attention, they can turn you off and then tell you, well, you signed the contract. That's your fucking fault, bro. They don't mm -hmm. care. So they can. They'll find any way they can screw you with how you play your set. So if you can get away with doing your set your way from beginning to end, more power to you. You figured it out. You know, one thing I hated was anytime we played uh, House of Blues Anaheim when it was still on when it was still on the Disney Walk, because you know it's changed now. And they had to, and they would do like the background check for all the bands to make sure that mm -hmm. your music wasn't offensive. Remember when we played Josh and like a week before we had just released all these photos of us all bloodied and murdered up and stuff like that? We're like, oh, we should probably take those down. And everything too. They went as far as to look at anything you had up posted, what so, you associated with, just because it was on Disney property. Yeah. Anaheim House of Blues, right? Uh, mm -hmm. CKY play. And do you know what CKY stands for? Can't kill mm -hmm. yourself. Can't yep. kill yourself. So Disney folks come by and say, hey, you got all these kids standing out front of the venue with shirts that say CKY, and that means you can't kill yourself, and we can't have that out on Disney property. So the House of Blues security staff went and grabbed tape, and they put tape over all the kids' shirts, right? So then the kids took the tape, ripped it in half, and then they went, 
F U C K Y O U. Nice. I just thought it was like the best. I was just like, <clears throat> to me, that was like, uh, you know, fuck your authority. You know, your authority. You know, it's just like, yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah, I I get the whole it was on Disney property thing, but at the same time, it's like if somebody bought a ticket to go see a certain band, they know what they're getting into. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I, I just I, don't see the point of the censorship. Carrie <clears throat> Carrie King was at every metal show at that at House Blues Anaheim that I've ever been at. You know what I'm saying? And that guy's band never was able to play there. You know what I'm mm. saying? Because you, you're not going to play huge. there at Disney. You know, so. Bigger than House of Blues, but you know. <laughs> well, well, no, no. But I'm saying, I'm just saying, it was like uh, that conversation was always taking place with that band. And it never happened because mm-hmm. Disney just wasn't going to happen, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to look at it. Like, the, the environment it brings in, the, the crowd, what type of crowd is it bringing in? Like, you're clearly not going to have a Cannibal Corp being played on Disney Walk or Downtown Disney, you know? Well, like, there, was, <laughs> there, was a, uh, there was a stage they had at Disney. It was called, it used to be called, like, Videopolis. It was back in the 80s, and fucking motley crew played it so they've had they've had bands in the past they used they did that for a bit so they've had Mm. some bands in the past i mean they literally had like the old school motley crew logos and symbolism and you know like the whole girls 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 thing was being played on stage and shit and they did that and then they just went away from doing bands and they just you know you can't show anything like that and but it's happened there you know but yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at, um, at some point, you just got to go, like, what would still keep that attitude of Disney and the atmosphere? And, like, you're trying to walk your kids through to get to the park, and here come a bunch of fucking metalheads with chains. And... Well, you know, hear me out. You're walking, you're walking to the Disney park, and you can't have certain things or certain censorship happening, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. on the way to the park, you walk by a movie theater, and half of the movie theaters are made by that company one way, shape, or form. And those movies have all kinds of violent and offensive stuff in it. So it's just kind of like you're not you're not some kind of uh, you know it's it's money, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. definitely money. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So when you uh, talk about walking your kids by, trust me, I've seen the bullshit there, you know? Yeah, for sure. Fucking get your ten dollar fucking churro, you know. <clears throat> So keeping this festival related, uh, we talked a little bit about Warp Tour last last week, and or was it like two weeks ago? I don't remember what it was. We talked about it a couple episodes ago, and I had said that I would be I wouldn't be surprised if these tickets were just out of you know astronomical in price. I was pleasantly surprised to see that they've announced the dates. I think it's three cities, but Long Beach is getting two nights. And um, it's only 150 bucks for both nights, which is honestly not that bad at all. So mm-hmm. um, I thought it was going to be 150 dollars a day, to tell you the truth. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, "That's that's <clears throat> not a bad, you know, 75 dollars to go to a concert in this day and age." Like how ticket prices are and how Ticketmaster is and all that shit. Like really for all the bands that's not a bad price you know yeah I mean, I yes know. yes if you're still in your 20s yeah, yeah. i think there's yeah. too many damn bands they're trying to cram in there too well many yeah bands. i mean that's that's hasn't that always been kind of warped to her though it's like <clears throat> yeah i, I think that I, I think the bigger issue yeah is if uh being in your 40s you know now it's just like you got to pay the $150 a day for the VIP, so you're not waiting in the general public parking line three hours to get out of the parking lot. So you're not having to wait in the mass herds of people trying to get out. You just walk out straight to your car. But unfortunately, <clears throat> VIP is closer to the venue, and general so you parking get- usually blocks you in. But you're still paying now- that amount just for the comfort and just... Uh, I don't need to do this anymore. I'm not in my 20s. I'll pay the little extra so I can get the, get in, enjoy, get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out. Yeah. Is there like a <clears throat> VIP bar lounge around here somewhere? Like that's what I'm looking for. You know. 
Where's the tent oh, with I all see. the drugs in it? <laughs> Where's the tent with all the drugs in it? Well, it's like it's Let's one go. of those things. Like you know, there's like there's like a band or two I want to see, and then there's three bands that I'm just kind of like I'm not really wanting to hang out the whole time. I want to go chill somewhere. You yeah. know, I'll catch a few songs and, and go to hang. Yeah, definitely. definitely. They they did announce as well that they're bringing back the uh, Ernie Ball Battle Battle of the Bands for it. <clears throat> That's so true. that'll be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Any last thoughts, gentlemen? Uh, we're running. We're coming up on like 40 minutes here. Uh, they also announced the lineup for uh, next year's Stick New World. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? I I heard they did. The only band that I'm aware that's playing is because my cousin's in one of them. So I know Stabby Westward's playing because my cousin's going to be there. So. But do you know who's headlining it? I I want to say Metallica. Fuck no, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm good, bro. I'm good. You don't want to go yeah, support yeah. your cousin? <laughs> what happened? I'm excited about that. I want to go see Metallica there. Fuck yeah. Tell your cousin to get us in. <laughs> he probably can. He probably can. He's always asked, he's always always asked me, but I never. Uh, tell him he could call he me. He never knows Mark for sure. And then I'll, be, I'll play Mark. <laughs> right? Bro, I'll fuck the yeah. tech. I know how to connect. I know how to uh, connect. Um, I mean, if if we if you guys did decide to want to go to that, I would go. Though. That would be that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Time out. Time out. Wasn't it just last week you said even if you got free tickets, you still wouldn't go see Metallica? <laughs> no. I want to go see all the other bands, bro. You guys can catch Metallica. I'll be on the freeway home. <laughs> I'll be on the freeway home. Ooh. <laughs> it's it's going to be like every band gets to play one song and then Metallica's the rest of the day. <laughs> it's just Metallica all day. That's what I'm afraid Fuck of. Yeah. Just have Metallica on one stage and have all the other bands switch now. Like, <laughs> Metallica plays the length of the whole festival, dude, on uh, one stage. Yeah, play all your albums. I want you to play each album. You get. I'll give you a half hour break in between. I don't know, man. That's one long Metallica song. <laughs> yeah, but you put them all together. It's a. It's a. It's an album. <laughs> I mean, you could probably cut it off. Like, you don't have to redo S and M. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't have to go back and play the songs that you just played with the symphony. Right. <laughs> no orchestra for you? you feel yeah, it? yeah. Well, I I feel it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy the album, but I think if you were to play each album and then get to S and M where you're playing the, the previous hits from the albums, but just with an orchestra, it's kind of like. Eh. You could skip that one live, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe Saint Anger as well. But that but, being yeah. said, you guys, we have two shows coming up next week: <clears throat> Halloween night, uh, the District in Redlands, um, and also November second, Goodfellas in Ranch Cucamonga. Please come out! Come out! We got, we're gonna have merch on us. We got the album, physical copies. We're gonna have some posters. We got a few shirts left available to sell. Come on out! Have a good time. I can't wait, Rob. It's going to be awesome to finally get in the fucking room and play some music with you again. Let's go. Doing this. Um, hell yeah. Uh, by the time this airs, you'll already have been here for about 24 hours, right? So. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we already any, any last things you guys want to say before I end this thing? Uh, Come to the show. Fucking safe travels, Rob. Get here safely. Uh, Remember, remember the 5th of November. That's yes. right, November 5th. It gets worse from here on all streaming platforms. You guys, check out all the links in the bio. It helps. Give it a share. Give it a like. This is the last days of Warcast. We are the last days of war. Talk to you later.